Anyway, it's round two from Liberty National Golf Club. Shot pretty well uh, on the opening round. We were uh, tied for second place at eight under par. Um, a lot better than I thought I would uh, would do um, at a course that uh, I don't really play all that often, if ever. Yesterday was my first round uh, at that course ever. So we start the day in a tie for 13, but only three shots off the lead. That's interesting. That's very, very interesting. Projected cut line at five under. Something's going to have to go catastrophically wrong for us to even flirt with that. Uh, so it appears our streak of making cuts should continue. Let's get out to Liberty National and start round two. A lot of guys sitting at 10 under. Only two at 11 under atop the leaderboard. As we start round two... Uh, wind, I think, was at 10 to 12, by the way. Some, somewhere in that range. We're uh, obviously going to be in pretty good uh, pretty good shape. Um, I think that was what we had yesterday, if not a little bit more. So teeing off very late here on a Friday, 3 p.m. So we'll have a pretty good idea of where our day, or how our day is going to shape up when... This round is complete. We're going to try the same thing again with the power drive. That's actually fading right where we want it. Pretty much right. Whoa. Okay, well, we actually hit it decent. Apparently, yesterday, we must have fucked up. Oh, it, right. It was into the wind yesterday. We didn't even have to hit a power drive. Well, that was silly, but good thing this is a par four. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Nice shot out of the bunker. It'll give us a tap in birdie here on one. Drive into the green side bunker. Nice bunker shot. Tap in. That's a good formula. Now, I don't know if we're going to go eight under like we did yesterday. That seems like a crazy number. To, to continue all four days. We'll see. I mean, most tournaments that we've won, we've won at like 20 unders usually usually right in that uh, right in that area. Alright, well, we're gonna want to club back a little ways. Hit a six iron here. Somewhere over there. A little bit of power off of that. Might not be a bad thing. However, we did not get the wind right. And two tee shots into our round here on Friday. We found two bunkers. Well, okay then. Oh, that, that never had a prayer. Too fast through the ball, but that's okay. Putt is fairly straightforward, and we're in for par. And just imagine how much better our opening round could have been had I been able to go bogey-free. Just couldn't do it. I know. Incredible. Which is crazy. I, I don't usually start with finding bunkers. That, that usually comes later. Somewhere right over there. Maybe a little bit more to the left. And it looked like we missed a little bit right. So, in theory, we're going to be good here. This should take a bounce in our favor. God damn it, I can't even keep my eyes open. <clears throat> when I say I'm tired, <laughs> I mean that genuinely. Two 7 a.m. alarms in a row is not usually how I start my days. Now, on our approach yesterday, we tried a we tried a uh, pitch shot. That wasn't really the call. 
I really don't know what the call is going to be today. I feel like the best chance we have is probably going to be the spinner. The spinner will move, though. All right, on the way. This could be good. Yeah. Maybe it was this hole yesterday where I thought I we hit our first spinner. No, no I could have swore we hit the we hit the uh, pitch here. I don't know. All I know, all I know is that the spinners reacted very differently as we got later in the round. I was expecting to to land a ball and for it to pretty much just stick with soft and slow conditions. That was not the case. Maybe it was just soft and slow for Liberty standards. Hard to say. All right, very tough uh, hole location on this par three. Feel like eight iron's gonna be our best chance. There's a chance this could funnel down as well if we hit this right. So let's see if we can do that. Ball's moving. Oh, it's not gonna get there. I think we aimed a little bit too far left. We almost hit it directly into the wind, basically. It just kind of killed it. All right, flop shot. Hope for the best on this. That well, looked. Oh, well, it looked good. Rough took a lot of speed off that ball, so we do have a little bit of a tricky putt for our par here. On the way and dropping. Nice little nine footer to kind of get the putter rolling early in case we're going to need it later. There's a very distinct chance we need it later. Oh, I know. <clears throat> that that almost went so right, but went so wrong. I feel like we had the right idea with that with that eight iron shot. Just didn't didn't get enough power into the wind on it. Could have hit it a bit lower, maybe. All right. Thinking somewhere right there should do. I love how there's just a fan walking across the cart path, crossing the tee box. All right, we should be safe. And we are. Oh, wow, pins right there. Why? <laughs> Par four. All right. Well, we can actually finesse this, which kind of surprises me. Finesse with the wind at our back is a bit of a tricky shot. In the air. Come on, bite. Oh! Damn near dunked it. But still, an excellent effort on that. My goodness. Final stream to join our best of May moments. That about did. Not sure when I'm going to get that published up on the YouTube. We'll see. Uh, probably Monday or Tuesday uh, would be my guess. I don't know why I wait until the end of the month to start those. That seems like such a silly thing to do. I could just do that every day and save myself having to sit down for an hour, two hours to get that done at the end of the month. Because, I mean, I only put in like two or three clips a day. An ace to end the month. <clears throat> well, we did have a hole in one on our, our uh, best of April. Mm, that's a bit right. I think we're okay. Uh, define okay. It's gonna stay dry, I think. Man, it cut through that rough pretty good there, but... Alright. Keyboard chargers in the fucking way. I can't read. 
how much power I'm going to be able to get on this. Hmm. Honestly, best bet might be... It might be the 8-iron, and it might be kind of trying to aim towards the middle of the green. I, I really don't know. Well, that's where we're headed. You just knew that that was going to roll out. I figured I'd give myself a putt no matter where it was from. Because this is... It's a tricky one, but it is somewhat makeable. Goes uphill pretty steadily towards the end. I'm going to go just a little bit to the right. And then it's going to... Lord knows what it's going to do after that, so... Maybe just that. I didn't hit it as hard as I wanted to, so this might not get there. And it doesn't, but that was actually, I think... A fairly decent read, but may not have been had we gotten the power that we wanted to on it. In for par, however. No, that wait, that was a birdie. That was a par five. What? All right, we eagled six yesterday. I said it shouldn't be a par five if I'm allowed to hit nine iron into the green. Just really trying to figure out how that how that's a par five. That's a long par four anywhere else on this on this tournament schedule. Low drive up along the right side. Wind should take it back as long as I don't fuck up. Which we did not. Well, no funny bounces. We'll stay in the short grass and have a look at the pin. Depending on the pin location, you miss this fairway. It could be very costly, especially if you miss it right. Ooh, okay. I like hitting a high six. I'm going to hope this isn't too much club. Mm, I'm, oh, I missed that so right. I saw it head over there. I thought we were actually going to be okay, but it just kept heading right. All right. Well, I'm in the rough, so I can't hit a spinner. Flop is probably going to be our best chance. Take a tiny little click off. Kind of cruising through right now. Like I said yesterday, this is just such a tough tournament to, to get up for and be excited about. After you win the PGA, I mean, this is the first tournament afterwards. <clears throat> That's one thing I, would, I will say about this game is that I would love if there were more real tournaments. It's great to have all the majors... Um, and especially the, the current major locations. Um, but at the same time, tournaments like this. Um, and, and we have a lot of these. It's pretty much just majors and these fake tournaments. Uh, up until we get into the FedEx Cup playoffs. There's a couple, maybe a couple more, but not many more real tournaments. Wind at 12 miles an hour. This is terribly stupid. I'm going to hope that it goes through the bunker. I don't know if we're going to carry it. Hopefully the wind pushes it to the point that it pops out. <clears throat> oh, we're actually going to miss it left. But will we roll through the fairway? No. Surprisingly not. No, uh, that course is in PGA 2K23, uh, though, and we're going to take a, uh, a very short trip over to that game uh, to play that tournament the week of. 
Well, I don't really know what the best case scenario is here. What bunker would I rather be in? Because I'm not landing this on the green. And truth be told, I really don't think I want to. I mean, down here does me no good. That's going to make for an even trickier putt and have even more possibility of things going wrong. I'm going to hit a four iron, back it off, and hope we wind up in that back bunker. I didn't hit it very well. Oh, we're actually going to be in the front bunker. But basically what I was aiming for anyway was just sand. Um, wasn't the preferred location for that to go, but we'll take it. <clears throat> Back this off a little bit. It's actually not below our feet so bad. Oh, oh, too far. Too much, and that almost rolled off the green. Blasted that. However, the putt is fairly makeable. There is a little bit of downhill to this, but that drops. Five under on the front side. We're on pace with what we did yesterday on the front nine. It was the back nine that ate us alive. We're tied for the lead. We should, Jesus. PGA Tour, uh, these players got to step it up, man. And I will say, playing the Rocket Mortgage Classic is uh, going to be very tricky because the difference between... Ooh. Well, I said we were going to play loose and aggressive. We're going to do that here. Um... The difference between EA Sports PGA Tour and 2K23 is just, it's like night and day. They're two entirely different games. This is so dumb. Uh-oh, we lost power on that. Is it gonna have enough? No! <clears throat> so be it. Point of entry. I mean, I guess that is technically point. Oh, wait. No, we're dropping to the fairway. We're good. Well, I'm going to want to hit a good shot in. Drop the pitching wedge back a little bit. Oh, wait a minute. Uh-oh. <clears throat> now, there's a chance we do actually still hit this at full power. So, I'm just going to go for it. Mm. Well, I'm going to bogey nine here, at least. Sad part is that that's pretty much not even worth it to try and cut the water like that. All right, try and chip it in. Oh, no, that ain't got a prayer. <clears throat> Not even close. So we will drop a shot. We'll lose pace of the lead for the moment. But on pace still for an incredible day. Front nine only finishes four under today because of our own stupidity. Now a two-way tie at the top of the leaderboard at 13 under, but we are lurking with nine holes to play here on Friday. Why did my microphone start changing colors again? I swear the other day it was solid blue the entire the entire stream. <clears throat> oh. Actually, I feel like it was this hole that I was thinking about cutting that yesterday. That's definitely not the play today. And in fact, I'm going to hit three wood off the tee here. <laughs> 
Just to be safe. Really doesn't feel like any of these holes here at Liberty National are overly long or anything. The distance isn't really the challenging part. However, I say that. And we've got a little bit of a tricky one here. That might be too far right. Actually, this could. Oh. I thought that rough was going to, or the rough fairway fringe, whatever the fuck that was. Take a little bit of speed off that ball. That didn't really happen. Well, the pitch isn't the play. We're going to flop this. Even got a little backspin on that one. Well, we'll take our par on 10. I believe we I believe 10 is where we got our first bogey of the day yesterday, so. We'll take it. We're in good shape. I say that, but if we lose this tournament by a shot, remember, remember hole nine. Not many of the other bogeys. Our two in the opening round were because I was just out here being stupid. Ah, yes. This par three. I don't really know what the play is. Ball's got to move. I don't know if it's moving enough. Oh. Come on. Climb. Not bad. All right. Tiny little bit of uphill, but then not really much else. That is going to fall. Birdie on 11. Back to 13 under. We're going to see if that's still the lead or not. It is. Joining at least a three-way tie for the lead at this current moment. All right. Ah, yes, this split fairway. I feel like I'd much rather be over here. Mm, nope, we're okay. I didn't like it. I saw just a little bit of movement to the right on that ball. It's going to be a tricky uh, approach shot here into this win. Let's see what we're going to have to hit. At least 54, probably 50. I'm going to hit a 50 degree into this win and hope for the best. Well, that's a little left to target. Comes down. It's about pin high, but... A little bit farther away than I would have liked to be. However, a very makeable putt that doesn't do really anything. Where did that go uphill? I know I left it short. I figured it'd still get there. Well then. Par on 12 to stay 13 under. Ball just died. Laird has gone 14 under par. Solo lead. As we head to 13, par 5 at 580 yards. I don't remember the second bogey yesterday. I don't remember where it was. Yeah, I know. I saw that. That was one of the... Austin was standing next to me when I read that, and I was like, you ready for a headline you weren't expecting to read today?
Don't even really want to mess around with power drive, to be honest. Uh, gonna try and just keep ourselves safe. Ooh, that ball's gotta stop. I think it's gonna. See, we hit the power drive in yesterday's round. Wound up in the tall shit. Well, we'll be able to clear the water. Aiming for the water is a terrible plan. Let's not do that. Let's not be that stupid. On the way with a six iron. This could be fairly decent if it stops, which it won't. <clears throat> All right. It's still a par five. I mean, we have a very makeable uh, eagle chip here. Oh, what did that hit to go left like that? We will take our birdie and move on. That was a phenomenal, phenomenal shot. I don't really know what that what that bounced off of. The kick just that little bit left that guaranteed we weren't going to make that. Laird has gone to 15 under. He's actually a hole behind us. <clears throat> Game two of Tigers and Red Sox comes up after this. This is the bogey hole yesterday. Because we missed this green. Nine iron into the wind. It's going to spin, right? A little bit. We maybe could have gotten away with a nine iron finesse on that. Probably would have been the better uh, better opportunity, but yet again a makeable makeable putt. So let's get this. Come on! Whoa! Just barely had the juice, and we bounce back from a bogey here on 14 yesterday for a birdie on day two. Layer goes to 16 under. Might be some low scores coming out of Jersey City this weekend. Par 4, 15th. Honestly, I feel like we're going to be okay to just hit this straight forward. Wind should keep enough off of this ball to the po uh, point that the bunker's not in play, and oh god, did it ever. Not much roll out at all. Six yards. Well, an approach into this wind here. Six iron? I don't know. <clears throat> Wind's got to bring it back, and it really ain't moving it a lot. Had the right idea, just a little bit of poor execution. But once again, fairly makeable. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Not quite. That'll be a par. No three straight birdies for us. Three holes to play. Good news is Laird doesn't birdie. Bar for 16th. B 
be interesting to see if Gable Stevenson even makes the team. Like, obviously the guy's like a freak athlete. We can't take that away from him, but he's playing a sport he's never played before. All right. I'm thinking three wood. <clears throat> I'm thinking three wood. That is fucking piss hooked. I don't know why my player likes it. That wasn't really that good. We are in flop territory. I think that's uh, the right call in this spot. Spinner's just a little bit too unreliable. Flop, you always know you're going to roughly be in that circle. Even with that one into the wind. For birdie. And I'm pace for back-to-back -back eight under days. And we also birdied uh, 17 yesterday, too, if I remember correctly, so. Could get even better. Saw some trees phasing in and out of existence <laughs> along the right side of the fairway. We're just going to ignore that, of course. Over this way, hit it high, and let the wind take it. Yeah, little curve ball. Now, I don't think this ball is going to be sitting very pretty. Kind of in a little bit of a hole here. Ooh. Ooh. Not the biggest fan of that. A finesse with the 54. Yeah, somewhere right there. Ooh. I don't think we got that right. Come on, at least stay on that fringe. Yeah. Give me a chance to putt it if I want to. E honestly, I feel like I'm gonna. Gonna need some power on it. Come on. Ha <laughs> ha! Little putt from the fringe for Birdie on 17. Well, we finally got our highlight for the day. We just missed out on a nice chip in for uh, Eagle earlier. Nice shot. Got that perfect. And now, one more hole to end our day. 17 under par, a 9 under second round here. With one hole to play. Short grass. We like short grass. We don't like this win we're getting in this tournament, but it really hasn't bothered us too much. Ugh. I gotta hit five iron? Come on, ball's got to move. It's not really moving. It's a birdie putt, but a little bit of a longer one out at 17 feet. Ooh. <clears throat> oh, lordy. Nope. 
Yeah, there wasn't too much of a risk of going miserably long on that. Probably could have been a bit more aggressive at it, but we will take a nine under Friday. Finishing 36 holes at 17 under par and a much better back nine here today. Oh man, did Laird fall off. We head into the weekend leading by three. After shooting a 62 a day after our 63. And it's not usual that we're leading the lower scores um, at this point in a tournament. But it appears, whoops, it appears we're tied for the best round of the day. At nine under par, Sam Burns joined us there as well, and he might have been the only other one. Appears so. Man, you got to feel for Scott Piercy. Eight under yesterday, even par today. Who had the worst weekend or worst 36-hole stretch as we venture into the cut line? Seth Reeves, seven over for the tournament, three over today, and Bo Hostler, one over for the tournament. Four over today. Had a chance to make the cut, if not for that. Well, we move into the weekend. We are in great shape. I, I wasn't expecting this. Wasn't expecting this at all. Nine under on Friday.